Hey everyone, welcome to Ryan's demo tutorial. This is where I'll take you step by step and show you how to use our tool. Bear in mind, Ryan is compatible for design experts and non-design experts alike. So all of you hang along with us. Ryan is a 2D collaborative space design tool in the browser. This is where you can import floor plans, redesign them, render them, create mood boards, schedules, share them with other and many other features. So let's get going. On the canvas, I've uploaded a floor plan, as you can see. Um, it was a PDF floor plan, and I decided to override it with the Ryan Walls and Zones. First of all, I want to introduce you with the canvas. So on the top left, we have our main tools. On the top right, we have our share button. And here on the bottom, we have our addition tools. These are all the tools you would need to edit a floor plan. So essentially, lines, polylines, rectangles. You have here our walls and zones. You have text, annotations, dimensions and different commands like scale, move, rotate, what you need to reconfigure things on the canvas. You can also block and group elements on the canvas. And on the right, we have our productivity tools of comments, annotations, uh, and communicate with others. And here on the right, we have our distance and area tools. So of course, everything on the canvas is to scale. You can choose your units right here. So you can work either with centimeters, millimeters, inches, imperial, as you wish. So I wanna redesign this room and first of all, I'm going to delete all the different blocks that I have here and show you how we would start from scratch. About walls, zones, and openings, this is what we call light beam features. You can see that when I move this wall, the square meter count adjusts accordingly. And let's delete this zoom. If I have a door, I can place it in the wall and it generates an opening seamlessly. So different from other softwares where we have to actually draw lines, here it's um, faster. Let's delete these as well and start from scratch. So we have this room and let's add a zone to that. So I'm going to grab the zone tool and with one click, I get a square meter count. In Ryan, we're creating a bridge between where you draw and where you render. Meaning that if I created this zone and I'm drawing here, I can already make it aesthetic and choose the right style for it. So on the right, I have my properties panel and I'm going to select the style and I can give this zone different fills essentially. So I can either choose a solid fill, let's give it a solid pink, for example, um, or I can have a texture. We have some in-app options of tiles, wood, uh, bricks, etc. You can customize and upload your images as fills. Uh, and of course, we have hatches. So we have a lot of different ones. Feel free to select the one you want and you can customize them within the app. So change their scale, rotate them, really um, customize it as you wish. I want to change the name of the zone, so I'm going to select it and I'm going to go to the right side panel property and right here, let's call this office A. You can see that once I do that, the name changes and I'm going to show you uh, in a bit how that will look once we make schedules of different areas. So we rearrange the space. Let's add some furniture. I'm going to go to the Ryan block library on the top left. And here we have a library with 2000 different blocks that we've created uh, just for you. Uh, we have housing, office blocks, feel free to browse around. And I'm just going to choose the office uh, libraries now and select a few different blocks here and import them into my model. Now that I did that, I can drag and drop these blocks on the canvas. So dragging them, dropping them, uh, I'm going to place them in the room and then I can kind of do a test fit or what fits in this room. Um, I can also scale these blocks. Uh, let's say that I'm happy with this one, uh, although there's many other options that you can play around with. Uh, maybe we can have two desks here instead. Let's see. Yes, that looks better. There you go. I can also create my custom blocks. So let's say I want to make my own storage unit. Uh, I'm just going to grab a rectangle and place that over here. I can give it the depth and length, and I can also change the style properties. So I'm going to give that a fill right here. Let's make that just a solid gray with uh, black lining, and I can control the width on the style property as well. Okay, let's add some dimensions on this floor plan. So I'm going to grab the dimension tool from down here, and I'm going to place that. Let's just do width and length of this total space. And once I have all that information that I want to convey on the canvas, I can also add the overlay of comments and annotations. So I'm going to go down here and select the comment tool. Now I can pin a comment onto the canvas. So I'm going to place one right here in this room. And on the left, I'll just write, I'm going to upload this comment 
And I can also redline this floor plan. So here I can go ahead and choose the annotation tool and I can add different information. Let's say I wanted to have two more desks here. Maybe this could also go to this direction and upload those right here. Now that I have all this information, I'm ready to share this floor plan with someone. So either a colleague, a fellow student, a client, and to do that, I'm gonna go to the share button up here on the right. When I click on the share button, I have different ways to share this model. So the first one is typically with someone within my organization who I want to work with me and edit the floor plan. I'm gonna type in that person's email and then I can decide if they're going to be an editor, admin, or viewer and invite them to the model. Another option is to enable a public access and this would be for someone typically outside my organization. So let's say a client or a supplier. I'm gonna copy the link and I wanna show you how that would look for that person. Okay, we arrived on the viewers window and they get a minimized set of tools. So when you send this link to people, they can't edit your floor plan. Uh, you have full control over it. All they can do is see your comments and annotations. So they click on the comment. If they don't have Ryan account, this will pop up and they do not have to make one essentially. They can still see your comments and annotations. If they want to reply and if you guys want to collaborate, um, they could make an account, a free one. Uh, you can already see the cursor of the other person. And as I was mentioning, you can work collaboratively on this floor plan. The other thing they can do is take measurements. So they can take the distances on a floor plan. Uh, they can get this information independently uh, or square meter of different areas of this floor plan. Back on the canvas. Now I want to show you how you can export a floor plan. Uh, and for that, I'm going to use the page tool. So up here, I'm going to go to the page tool and drop a page on the canvas. Now, this page can be set according to a scale um, and a size of page. So let's say I have here the scale. I want it to be, you know, 1 to 100, um, a three page, for instance. And another thing that I can do before I X add another one right here, maybe in a different size, we can add another one for this area. There you go. Once I placed all my pages, I can simply go to export all and decide if I'm going to export them as a PDF or PNG. Let's go for a PDF. And in just a few minutes, this is gonna be generated in my downloads file. So there you go. I'm just gonna click on that and show you how that would look. I have one, two, and three pages in different sizes of different areas. Back to the floor plan. Let's hide all these pages. And I wanna show you some other things you can do on the end canvas. So I'm gonna to go to the layer panel so the layer panel is where all the things on the canvas are stored and organized according to layers. Uh, we have a layer containing the walls, the zones, the furniture. You can customize these and create them as you wish. I want to show you this layer that uh, I call mood board and it has uh, my mood board. You can import, as you know, images on Tryon and then really play around, create your mood boards uh, and be creative with different images from your desktop. The other thing that you have is our block title. So this is essentially a block from the block library. You can change um, the information here. So add your name, the project number, you can add your logo uh, and customize this as you wish. The next feature I want to talk about is our table feature. If you go to the top left panel, you'll find it right there. And essentially what it does is help you organize data that you have on the canvas uh, really fast. So for instance, if you need to make schedules of areas, zones, uh, procurement lists, this will be done here. For the first one, I'm gonna show how you would make a super quick schedule of zones on your floor plan. So once you use the Ryan zones and you add a table with the property of area, you're gonna get an automatic list uh, with all the different zones, their square meter count and the sum. And you can click on these zones to see which one it's associated with. Uh, when you change things on the canvas, it's gonna be updated automatically in this table. And lastly, you can of course export this um, as an Excel sheet if you want to work with it outside the app. Another example is if you needed to make procurement lists. So let's show how you would do that. I'm just gonna grab one of the blocks and uh, with the right click, I'm gonna select the select similar. I'm going to add properties onto all of these chair blocks. Um, and I'm gonna do that here on the right by clicking on the plus button. Now I have to create properties. So for instance, let's create a property of a brand and we'll give it a name, we'll call it brand. For the type, it's gonna be a text property and add that. Another one we could do is a price property. So I'm just gonna click that, call this price and then add it as a number property and add it onto those. Now let's say each of these chairs is 400 euros. Um, the brand can be Knoll, just as an example. 
Now that I've added those onto these blocks, I'm going to go here again, create a new table and just seek those properties from the list. So here we go, price and brand. I get, uh, again, account, sum, and of course, if I have multiple brands, multiple different pricing points, I can also filter and group all the information in the tables. The last thing I want to show you is how your homepage would look in Ryan. And I'm just going to go to the main panel and click on back home uh, and just show you that basically this is how the interface is organized. So you'll have, once you create a Ryan account, um, your own space and your avatar up here on the left. You'll have personal projects here, have models shared with you or different workspaces of your organization. So Ryan is really fit for working as singles or in larger groups and teams. Okay, so you now know that you can import PDF, DWG, or DXF files onto Ryan. You can add zones, walls, furniture, you can edit the style, uh, you can share the floor plan with others, and you can create different schedules. That's it, guys. Hope this was helpful. As always, feel free to reach out if you need anything. Check out our resources here below. Hope you enjoy Ryan. Thanks for watching. Cheers!